What's going on everyone? I hope all is well where you are. All right, working on a 2004 Chevrolet Avalanche. My Chevrolet Avalanche has been having uh, a coolant leak issue. It's been going on for, I don't know, for, for a long time. And basically what I've been doing is adding in distilled water just to bring it back up to level. Uh, what brought what brought this to my attention, what brought the issue to my attention was got into the vehicle one winter and uh, I noticed that the heat wasn't working that good. Uh, checked the cooling level and it was low in the, the uh, tank here. Added some uh, antifreeze to it. He started working. Thought maybe a just due to whatever evaporation. Maybe. Uh, but the issue continued to happen. I kept losing cooling, kept losing cooling. Look around the engine, around the hoses and everything, never good. Never could find where the cooling was leaking out at. Uh, so I just let it go for a while. Never really gave it much attention. Um, vehicle still ran, so I moved on with myself and worked on other projects. Um, but I'm get, it's getting to the to a point where it's starting to concern me now. So uh, because I don't want the, the leak to to continue to get worse and cause an I issue with the engine, a uh, major overheating issue and causes engine damage. I picked this tool up from uh, Harbor Freight. I'm hoping that it'll work out for me. It is a uh, coolant. radiator pressure test kit it has many attachments that you can use uh, on different makes and model of vehicles uh, I'm hoping it'll work out for me I picked it up for I think the uh, retail price is like $89 um, the cashier gave me like a 10 20% discount or coupon so that worked out pretty well I got my attachment hooked up to the uh, reservoir. Um, this thread's on. Um, the instruction says not to exceed the uh, pressure rating that's on the cap. Uh, mine says 15 PSI, so I'm gonna uh, use this pump and making sure I don't exceed 15 PSI. All right, let me give you a close up what I had to do. Had to rig something up to block off the uh, overflow on the reservoir tank. Uh, I used one of my woodworking tools just to clamp it off, use a rubber glove to block off the uh, little port there. So, I mean, it works. I'm gonna pump it up to what it says on the uh, cap. It appears the water leak is coming from where the water pump mounts or bolts up or connects up to the block. Let's see if I can get you a better. See that up in there. Yes. I 
that's where the luck is coming from. It's running down the oil pan. From that area. I think I got you a better angle to see. You can see it coming off the back of the water pump where it mounts to the block. Now what I'm going to try to do is just tighten up the bolts and see if that take care of the leak rather than having to take the belt off, take the water pump off, and uh, replace the gasket. So I'm going to try tighten up, tightening up the bolts for the water pump and see if that take care of the leak. Yeah, you should be able to see it better now. Check the other side while I'm here. Awesome. Tighten up the bolts. Well, the bolts are already tight. Let me rephrase that. Bolts were already tight. Um, and I have that leak on the, the side of the water pump. 
um, I have some gaskets already. And I guess since I'm already here, I really didn't want to do this, but I need to get it fixed because it's leaking. It's leaking and, and uh, I don't want to damage the engine. Just want to give everyone a close up on why the water pump gasket failed, why, why it was leaking right there at the water pump. Can you see how the gasket came apart? You see the uh, O-ring part separated from the, the gasket itself. That's why it was leaking on that side. That's that. As I said earlier, I really didn't have high expectations of this uh, Harper Freight tool, but it did. It did do the job. It did do the job. I'm thoroughly impressed. I would uh, recommend it uh, to, to others to use. Um, just to recap, my leak was coming from my water pump gaskets. As you can see, they, they just fell apart all together. And this I thought it was just the uh, passenger side of the water pump, but it turns out both sides were, were uh, damaged. I don't think I would have found this leak without using this tool, just because I looked around. When I noticed that I was starting to lose water, I did look under the vehicle to see if I see any water pooling up anywhere on the ground and didn't see any water. Uh, and basically I think what was happening in that situation was as the engine starts to heat up the metal expands and it closes up the, the space that was left by the by the gasket that that failed if you like this video hit the like button below be sure to leave comments and always please subscribe to the channel thanks for watching